Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Oscar, and today we're doing a little fun video. Um, we're gonna go check out some antique malls. Uh, one antique mall being Charleston Antique Mall, and uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll probably end a uh, Charleston Antique Mall. Will make us stop by Spinetti's, and uh, that might be the only two stops. But just gonna kind of take you guys along little off day, little fun day, uh, see what kind of chips or what kind of finds we can find. These little shops around Vegas and shops around the US, you could probably go in and find. I've seen plenty of people going to Goodwills and antique malls and buy chips and stuff like that. So don't wanna keep rambling on, but let's get right into it. By the way, for those coming next week for the chip show, it is a toasty 105 outside. Sure, it'll probably be 105 or something along like that, but let's go ahead and jump out of here and get inside. Okay, so as I said, first stop, we're going to Charleston Antique Mall. Then we're gonna go over to Spinetti's and check that out. But uh, there's all kinds of shops like this. You could get chips in person. Obviously you can get chips online through like Spinetti's, All Dash Chips, Rubes Casino, Chips Casino Bank. Uh, whatever else I can think of, but this is kind of fun to go in person and see what they have, so let's go. Hopefully you can hear me, but this is the field that I was at last time, and I found a bunch of goodies at this booth, but it seems like the booth's kind of changed, so obviously you can see there's like Dunes Chips, Stardust Showboat Roulette, Silver Slipper, Silver Nugget, bunch of dice ashtrays and then there's more dice down here it's like cool e-wing manufacturing samples and stuff matchbooks postcards swizzle sticks those shoe thing shoe horns a bunch of dice more dice more swizzle sticks uh, silver slipper decks are pretty cool. Gold nugget stuff. Belt buckles. Bunch of old bottles. And then there's decks down here. Like Sheraton sure, Desert Inn. Desert Inn. Desert Inn. More matchbooks. Some of these token things. And then a few more chips in here. It's like these are these are pretty good prices as far as I like the range. Western Club is a little expensive. Majority of the stuff at these antique stores are a little expensive, but Usually some type of deals you can find. That sneak joint back there actually. I kind of want that, but I gotta look up the price and see what the last one sold for. That sneak joint chip back there. I came in here, I said I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I need to buy that thing back there. Last one sold for like 400 something or like 800 I think I saw the last two sold for, so. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that real quick. I, I came in here saying I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I, I can't pass that up. I've never seen it in person, so let's go ahead and get it. That's how things go sometimes. You kind of come in here and you say you're not gonna buy anything, but then you go ahead and do so. Well, it's gonna be like 125 for the chip, but it's one chip I've been looking for for a long time, so it should be well worth the, uh, the purchase. I don't think there's not really anything else at this booth that kind of interests me so let's keep looking around i know last time i was able to find some nevada club decks there was a sealed mint deck um and a few other things so let's keep looking and this is one thing little oscar would love is all these all these hot wheels i could have probably just walked away i could ask my mom forever about hot wheels back in the day like that r34 that's a pretty sick hot wheel this is a crazy thing. Hot Wheels price is like 24 bucks. And it says it's a custom Hot Wheel, but still. These things have gotten expensive. If only I would have known what they would have been worth. I would have just kept all my Hot Wheels in the packages, but man. 
I don't know, there's some cool stuff. I like, this is only my second time coming to this place, so pretty cool to find something. Like I said, like I said at that last booth, I found something here last time at that same exact booth, so pretty awesome to find. I'm gonna, con it's, I'm gonna consider, that's one of my like grail chips right there, that sneak joint. I think the place that only had, I think it was three chips total. The one, there was a one, a five. Um, and there might have been one or two other denominations. From my understanding, it was a pretty small place. Um, and I'm trying to think, I think it was open in the 60s and 70s. So to find something like that, um, for the price that it was, 125 bucks, I'm, I'm willing to pay that. But um, I'll go ahead and pop up on the screen what the last two sold forks. Like I said, I think one of them in 2018 sold for 795 and the other one was like 485 or something like that so getting it at 125 i think is a steal and an absolute uh bargain deal in my opinion um i have no idea if it's been in the last chip chat auctions or anything like that but i i, I hope it's a good price i'm getting this for so those hard Yeah, let's keep looking. Here's the booth that I ended up getting the mint sealed deck last time. It seems like there's less of them now, which is cool. Um, yeah, there's a Casino Royale token and a Golden Nugget deck. And the, there's one more sealed mint deck. It doesn't have the cellophane, but it's still sealed, so. Pretty cool. Uh, cool little Frontier paperweight thing. And then a Horseshoe Ashtray, Swizzle Sticks. Lady Luck discount book. All kinds of little goodies. There's some stew pack, Vegas world stuff, million dollar casino thing, and all kinds of different goodies. And mixed in with this like eight track and CDs and China and jewelry and all kinds of random stuff. This is this is this is good stuff. This is what we're looking for, like this stuff, but the decks I don't need, it's all about the chips. All right, this is pretty neat. There's a, <clears throat> somebody had a custom chip set made. So the price on that's 525. Kind of cool to see this though. The only thing I wish is that there was some like TRK chips, but I don't, I have no idea if that's ever gonna happen. If I'm ever gonna find TRK chips or something like that in an antique store like this, but yeah, there's some cool stuff. Just a bunch of random stuff and you have a, oh that's pretty cool, look at that. It's got a custom chip case with it, now oh, that's kind of cool. I guess at that point the chip case is probably worth more. This is cool, right? So, I found these Nevada club decks last time. I went ahead and I think I bought all the ones with the jokers. But I think I might just go ahead and get the rest of the ones without the jokers. Because I know I have a bunch of friends that um, kind of like the Nevada Club and all that stuff. So it'd be kind of cool to throw it in one of their packages if I ever send them anything. Kind of like a little thank you and, I don't know, something fun. I think it'd be kind of cool. So I think I might get those as well. So I thought I just recorded this whole thing. So Sand Dice is pretty cool there. Jim Kelly's Nugget Ashtray, Sand Dice. Those international ceramic mugs, I know one guy that would probably buy them, but I think I'll go ahead and show him first, or maybe let him come over here first. Then there's some DI mugs back there, Caesars, older Caesars, older Desert, Desert Inn shot glass, international ashtray, 15 bucks. Some chips and tokens in one deck. More tokens and decks down there, but they're nothing of interest to me. So I think there's only a couple more booths. Um, so I just found like 10 or so continental 25 centers. Um, they were in packs at two for five bucks. So it's like 250 a chip. Can't go wrong in today's market. Those are probably easily four or five dollars a chip. So I grabbed all those. Um, I grabbed all the Nevada Club decks that you guys saw, and then I also have the Sneak Joint chips. So we got 
quite a few things going, but I think it'll all be worth it. And uh, yeah, it should be good, should be good. So I think we're gonna keep, there's probably one or two more booths to keep looking and uh, we're gonna get on out of here. Okay, and we're out of there. Uh, damage, damage is done. We got the sneak joint chip. We got the, was it three decks of Nevada Club chips? We did get the Continental 25 centers. Um, yeah, I, I think it was a pretty successful thing. Uh, like I said, this was a Charleston Antique Mall. Um, it was my second time there, so uh, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it kind of shows you that there's still plenty of these antique places that have, I, I guess we could say quote-unquote deals, um, but then there's some other stuff that's crazy price. Like there was a, a Dunes $5, it was like 25 bucks, and a Dunes 25 was 25 I don't think anyone's going to pay 25 bucks for those because plenty of people know that those chips are out there. Like I said, I just wanted to take you guys along. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing what there is. I, 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 it was kind of my first time doing uh, like a vlog, I guess, in, in a store like that. So kind of cool. I didn't want to be too kind of, you know, taking videos of everything, but uh, that's done there. We're going to go to Spinetti's real quick, check out what's over there. Stop by, say hello to my day off, but doesn't matter. We're going to go stop by there and uh, see what you guys could kind of expect if you guys want to go there next week for the chip show or the CCA convention that's going to be happening at South Point. Um, Spinetti's is a great place to stop by. So next stop, Spinetti's. All righty. So we made it to Spinetti's, like I said. And of course you can find chips from all the way over there, all the way over there. So of course, let's go ahead and say dunes. I know plenty of people like Dunes chips, so there's Dunes 25k, 1, 500, and all that. Um, we'll go ahead and do this, because we just added this here, or they just added this here. It's the whole, basically the whole golf course set. With the, the Baccarat chips and the normal size chips for 7. It's a cool Circus Circus clock for 1300. Bill Bennett, I think... I think that was an executive's clock, if I remember correctly. Playboy Palms roulette set and Frontier Foundation piece. A Dunes shoe. A Dunes yo-yo, if you want to play yo-yo with the Dunes. And a Barbary Coast Silver Strike set, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, like I said, the chips. I know, you know many people like the chips. And there's, I'm, there's a bunch of people that have been to Spinetti's before, but still plenty of stuff here. Trays are basically full. A bunch of out of state chips over there. All the chips that are on the website, there's a, so all the chips that are on the website are in those boxes. International cruise chips down there. And then there's still obviously the chip sets. State Line, Silver Bird, Ponce de Leon, Fire Chips, and then if we go here, a bunch of Starburst, Palmas Chips, there's more Starbursts, Freddy's for two bucks each, Paulson Chips, more random Paulson Chips, El Conquistador set, Monte Carlo set, Holiday International set, Sundance U set, and then there's uh, Bud Jones uh, Silver Star chips in there, or the Borland ones. Yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show kind of the, the good stuff you can still find going to stores like Antique Malls and then um, Spinetti's if you're in town next week for the yeah, the chip convention you can go check the places out see if you can find any goodies and stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like i hope you guys enjoyed this one i thought i found a pretty good pretty good find with a sneak joint chip i'll put it this way the sneak joint chip so uh should be cool i'm gonna clean it up see how it looks afterwards and then uh catch you guys at the show so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace